Hello boys and girls, thank you so much for joining me today during this mystery drawing. Now, you might notice Miss Lily's not here. Well, she got so excited that she actually took a nap. That's what babies do. They need a little extra napping and cuddle time because they have a lot of growing to do. Now, boys and girls, with our mystery drawings, you want to have yourself a piece of paper. It could be any color, but I actually like using white paper a pencil to draw with, an eraser just in case you make an oops, some things to color with like markers, crayons. Um, I also, just for an extra bonus, I like tracing with either a black marker or a sharpie because when I color, I like to see all my details that I just drew. And it also helps me color neater. Alright, now boys and girls, with our mystery drawing, the first clue is it's actually an animal. Now remember, animals all look different. If it's a brown cat, it's going to look different from another brown cat because that's what's really cool about nature. Everything looks different. So it might not look like my example and it might not look like your neighbors. That's what's really cool about nature is that everything looks different. Alright, also when we start drawing, we want to draw big, okay? Now, my teachers, if you want to pause the video once in a while because I might be going too fast or you want to make sure everyone's at the right speed, you can. Also, you might want to stop the video at some times if the students could guess what the mystery drawing is. Alright? So first thing that we're going to do, we are going to have our picture side to side, or a very fancy math word to say is horizontal. I'm going to my camera and we are going to be making our, our life bridge. Alright, so the first thing that we are going to do, in the middle of our piece of paper, we are going to make a hill. Now if you notice with my hill, and let's see if, I, if you can see, especially with the lighting. And Mrs. Messina is not the best with technology, so what's great about art and technology, we can always fix it and problem solve. So, give me a thumbs up if you can see better. Awesome. So, when you make this upside down U or curve, you want to make sure maybe you can fit three fingers spread out or four fingers in. And if you notice, I have lots of room on top and lots of room on the bottom. Next, we are going to be drawing our ears, which are on top of our hill. Now, with these ears, you might think it might be a cat, but it's actually not. So we want to make sure these ears are not like a super triangle or like a V. We kind of want to have some curve to it. So, we're going to draw our ears. Again, they're kind of like curvy triangles, and they're not exactly up on top. Again, they're going to be more curvy. Now, for the bottom of our mystery creature, we're first on the sides, we're going to make a couple zigzag lines. Now, you might be thinking, oh, it's a cat, it's a cat. But do you have any clue? Alright, let's keep on going. So afterwards, after when you make your little zigzags, I want to make sure that you can still see, you're going to make a curve. Again, we know it's some type of animal. Now, we're going to work on the face later because you can make the face look extra fun. Now, you're going to be making the body. Now, the body is all scrunched up. My lighting is not the best right now, but guess what? We're going to problem solve. Let's see what it looks like when we shut off the lights. Oh, that looks lots better. And it actually helps because the end product, our mystery creature, is hanging out somewhere at night. So turning off the lights actually works in our favor. All right. So we're going to draw the body. Now the body is going to come out this way. It's going to come out on either the right side or the left side. So, what we're first going to do, 
about halfway by the head. We're going to swing over and come around. I'm going to go up towards either in the middle of the face or on the other side. Now, over here is going to be the tail. We want to make sure that the tail's fit, okay? So, starting from here, we're going to curve. Notice my tail's really thick. So, if you think about it, if I made my head about three fingers wide, maybe you want to make your tail like two fingers thick, okay? Because we want to make sure if this is our big animal, we want to make sure the tail is nice and big too. After that, over around here, we're going to make the thigh. Over here, we're going to kind of make like a zigzag cloud because the bottom of the head actually has a fluffy neck. After that, and you're going to start seeing what's in our mystery picture. We're going to make the arms. We'll come down. We're going to curve down. Curve back to the fluffy chest. We're going to come on the other side. We're going to go to the tail. Then over here, if you have room, I'm just going to draw a little diagonal line. And after that, in front or on the tips of the feet, you're going to draw a zigzag line. And finally, this is going to help you figure out what our mystery animal is. What mystery animal has a tail with a white tip at the bottom? Let's see if you're right. Who has, who has any guesses? Alright, let's see if you're right. We are making a sleepy fox. If you if you were right, tell me why you were right. Awesome. So if you look, we have the ears that are not like cats, like they're pointy like a cat, but they're still round. And we got the recognizable fluffy white patterns. All right. Now you can make your fox awake. You can make it sleeping, you can make it maybe ferocious looking, any way you want. If you want to add sunglasses to your fox, you definitely can. So, we're going to draw the nose, and again, your nose could be any shape you want. It could be a heart, it could be a star. We're going to make two J's at the end for the mouth. Then after that, we're going to use two long upside down you so it looks like it's sleeping. Now for the background, again, your background could be any way you want. If you want your fox sleeping in a garden, you can't. If you want your fox sleeping in, maybe it has its own bedroom, you definitely can. But to make my little pumpkin patch background, oh, if you hear any huffing and puffing, I think Miss Lily might be awake. So after that, with the background, again, the background is the back of the picture, but also it's like a story. It's like the setting where it takes place. So I'm going to have my little pumpkin patch. I'm first going to use a hilly line for the ground. After that, I'm going to make some pumpkins because it is fall right now. But if you want to make it a different season, you definitely can. So how I like to make my pumpkins, especially make it look like there's the, the little rib and also the bumps. I first make my stems, which is a circle and a triangle underneath. Kind of looks like a bunch of ice cream cones. Then after that, I first make an oval. You want to make sure this oval goes all the way to the ground. And if you look, it's not a full over, oval, it stops. So you don't see the, the bottom of the oval. Because, whoops, well if it's the season of Halloween because that just fell out of nowhere. After that, 
you're just going to keep on making your curves. And if you notice, you want to bring that line all the way down to the ground because if it's not, it's going to look like it's floating. And if you look, the more lines that I add, the bigger the pumpkin. If you look, some of my lines go over and under, and once you start coloring, it looks like that it's overlapping. Overlapping is when you have objects in front of another object. So if you look, my fox is sleeping in a pumpkin patch. Now in the sky, you can add stars, you can add clouds, it could be raining, it could be sunny. Maybe it's raining cats and dogs. It's your picture. All right. Boys and girls, thank you for doing this first mystery drawing with me. I can't wait to see your artwork. Once you are done, upload it to Seesaw or your Google Classroom. Or if you know how to upload it to Artsonia, please upload it there. I can't wait to see what your finished pictures look like. Have a wonderful day, boys and girls. Thank you.